So now we can uh, deploy our application so we can uh, see our application online on the internet uh, <clears throat> as our application uh, don't have any backend or uh, any uh, database so we can deploy it and use github pages to to host our application and uh, on and just uh, run our application for free uh, on github pages uh, also uh, github gives you a free ssl certificate uh, so it's and it's uh, perfect and easy and simple uh, also of course you can uh, deploy on any uh, host service you have uh, so in github pages you need first to to go ahead and open github.com and if you uh, already not having any any account go ahead and create a new account uh, if you have an account just open your account uh, login and go to uh, create a new uh, repository so we need to create a new repository with the name of uh, let's say the um, movies series info okay you can go ahead and hit create so uh, after creating the repository it gives you those commands to uh, to put inside your terminal so let's uh, I will uh, close the server uh, I already uh, created a git uh, folder inside my project and have uh, uh, committed and also add all all uh, add all the files into into the uh, into my git uh, folder so uh, you need first to uh, apply git in it to create the uh, git folder and then uh, apply git uh, add which will add uh, all the files so just hit first git init and enter and after that you need to hit git add uh, point uh, which will add all the files inside uh, your application and also you need to uh, apply git commit git commit with a message that you can um, you can type any message that uh, describe some some changes in your uh, project like um, anything first commit and hit uh, enter that will commit all the files and after that you need to create uh, a remote repository inside inside your inside your project so I will copy this go ahead and paste hit enter so after that we need to push copy paste enter and that will push uh, all uh, our project files into into the new repository so after finishing the push process you can uh, refresh your repository and you'll you'll see your files you'll you'll see your files inside uh, your new repository so uh, after pushing our files into into our github so let's uh, use github uh, github pages which is uh, an npm uh, npm package we can use to install and deploy GitHub Pages and deploy our uh, application to GitHub Pages. So let's open GH 
I think it's GH pages. The NPM. Yes, I believe that's GH pages. So this is the NPM pages. Uh, sorry, it's the GH pages, which is the NPM package we will uh, use to install. Uh, to install our uh, and deploy our application to GitHub Pages. So first, we need to uh, jump into our terminal and install uh, install this package. Install dash dash save gh pages. And while it's being uh, install let's jump into our JSON file I'll just wait while it's being installed so after installing the package we need to go to packages uh, you can see the new package which is GH pages which uh, uh, being installed successfully we need to add a new a new uh, property into our package uh, JSON uh, objects. So we'll, we'll add home page for the home page. It will be https colon slash backslash and your uh, GitHub username. After that, github.io slash then the uh, uh, project name or the repository the repository name so in our case it's movies series info so let's copy and paste and let's put a comma and make sure to put a uh, uh, double quotations not a single quotation uh, because it will, will gives you an error so uh, after that we need to add a deploy script so let's go ahead and add deploy which is npm run build and gh pages that slash D and build and let's put a comma so basically this uh, script will will uh, initiate this build script which uh, will build our static files which is uh, our uh, project assets in a folder uh, uh, which is build, so we'll see the uh, the process uh, while we uh, start deploying the uh, project. Also, this is uh, this uh, script will uh, will deploy basically will deploy the project into uh, GitHub Pages. So let's go ahead. First, let's save and let's go ahead and run. That's deploy run npm run. Uh, deploy enter so it will start with the build script creating and optimizing as you can see there is a build folder being created just created This is the folder uh, that will be uh, deployed to uh, to the host, or to uh, this is basically this is the website website files. Okay, I will pause the video. So after finishing the deployment process, let's. Uh, open the link new tab and here is our 
uh, website is online and uh, let's test let's test it so let's uh, uh, breaking bad great TV series so looks like it's working so let's tab and it's working so I believe that's it uh, our application is online just the last thing you can also add a custom uh, you can add a custom link or a custom domain uh, into your website so in your repository uh, settings you can go to you can go to here custom domain you can add your domain here of course you you need to be uh, to have that domain you already uh, you need to already been purchased uh, the domain you already been uh, you already have that domain so it's registered on your name so you can add it there's some uh, process uh, you need and steps you need to uh, to take so uh, but you can of course you can uh, add your own domain and uh, I just uh, recognized that I forgot to change the title so if we can change the title from our uh, basic from our code we can go to uh, it's not in source it's in public you can go to the uh, index and here where we can where you can change the title of your uh, of your page also you can repeat the process if we change the title for uh, let's say movies series nope series react app and save you need to re repeat the process you need to call uh, and uh, run npm uh, run deploy and that will uh, recreate the build folder also and will also uh, deploy the the build folder into uh, into your uh, into your uh, github uh, repository so I think uh, guys that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope you uh, I hope that this uh, tutorial ho helped you understand uh, and get used into uh, react how to build uh, your own application how to use uh, some other uh, external API how to call the API how to fetch the data and of course how to use Redux uh, uh, in the process of managing your uh, application states also uh, how to deploy to your uh, deploy your application into uh, github pages I hope that helped you I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and uh, may I say see you in, in some other uh, tutorials. Thank you and see you later.